everybody. It's Sunday. It's Sunday football day. Thank you so much for tuning in to Lori Houston Art. Today we are going to be doing the Green Bay Packers. Just to give you a little update, this series was created based off of my flower pop series that I'm doing a flower um, swipe blowout for the um, with a straw for the um, wives, the moms, the girlfriends of the team. And then I do another technique on a 10 by 10 canvas for the man cave. So we've had some great success. Please stay tuned to the end of the video. You'll not only find out who we will be doing next week, but you will also get to see all of the teams that we've created so far. They're absolutely beautiful. So today for the Green Bay Packers, we will be, um, move my stool here, we will be using um, Primal Flow, and this is the Sunshine, perfect color for the Packers. And then I have, for the green, I am using, um, this is Philo Cayenne Green by Liquitech Basics. And I mix that with a little bit of Mars Black to get it to the color of the Packers. And you can see the consistency is kind of thick and I kept it that thickness just because the Primal Flow paint that I have is a little bit older and it is a little bit thick. And um, I, I mix those two together and that works looks perfect. And then I'm using Liquitex Titanium White and um, I did do three to one Floetrol three parts um, titanium white one and then I added a little bit of the primal flow pouring medium so that I can get these colors to kind of um, work together so we are going to get started and um, I am going to go ahead and I think I've got to be very careful with the paint because I don't have a lot of this color so if I mess it up we're in trouble. This is all I've got. And green. There we go. Get some here. Go. Get some here. Okay. Colors look perfect. Okay, let's have a little bit of here and here. Now I'm going to actually just kind of tilt this, cover the canvas, try to keep the colors as true as I can. I'm going to move it over and then back. Kind of rocking it and I think put a little bit more down this edge here so that it moves a little bit. There we go. Put it this way and down here. And instead of swiping the colors together, I've decided to kind of just rock it out. And um Still keep go and down. Do want to go off the edge as much as possible. Okay, it's looking good. You can kind of tell the way the paint is flowing here. I'm going to bring it over and back. Keep some of this, keep some of the lines. Okay, almost there. We are. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're 
All right, so then I am going to just cover this up here, this little edge. There we go. this up here and here all right I'll go through and just cover the edges with some of these drippings there we go So a little bit here. Okay, I think that looks good. There we go. A little bit here. Right. Looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hands off. And we'll torch this a little bit. Looks good. I think we've got most of the paint off. Yeah, we're good. Let's get these edges now. And we'll look good over here. Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit of this white at the top. Yeah, this is good here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do a quick swipe. We'll dampen the paper towel. Shake it a little bit, put it on here, let it set. I'm going to pull quick. I don't want the colors to really get too messed up. All right, let's tip up. See if we can move some of this paint. Okay, no problem. I'm going to put a line here. Okay, and I'm going to tip up. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Tip up. Okay, looks good. Okay. Just trying to see if there's a lot of paint in any one area. so cool. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and wipe my hands. Let's go ahead and torch. See some bubbles down here. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and make sure all of my edges are covered. They look covered really well. Here's a little spot. There's one there, a little. Go around. One here. Canvas is covered all the way. Let me come around on the other side. 
<clears throat> check. Yep, canvas is covered here. Looks good. Very good. Okay, I think we are, I see some bubbles forming. So we're gonna pop, pop those bubbles. going to get ready to blow our flowers out and I'm going to start here I'm going to do I think I'm going to do a big one I'm going to put some white here and I am going to use taffy. Let me see something really quick. I'm going to use my homemade straw. You see? Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Put another dot of white here. Good. Looks great. Oh, yeah, that is so pretty. Okay. Put it here. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to put a little stem there. Okay, good. And put one here. great and we're gonna go this way and this way one here okay I'm gonna do a stem here here another one here go off the edge Let's go ahead and get started on um, putting these stems in. straight to the corner or off. I think I'm going to go. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks so cute. All right. Then we're going to go. Good one. I'll get my smaller. All right. There. Another there. Love that. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I want to do anything to it. This torch. Great. Just gotta 
decide if I want to add another flower or not. Maybe one right here. And then if I go right here, I'll do just one bud, I believe. Let's see how the petal looks first. Okay. around there we go perfect okay I'm making them get some real stem here at the bottom and they're all coming together there we go Nice. Let me just mess with this here. Okay. That looks good. Okay, good. All right. Now I'm going to um, start defining some of these petals. I'm going to torch. I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go ahead and um, flip this around. Okay, I'm back. All right, so we're just going to do a little quick detail of some of these petals. And they've really turned out really beautiful up here. So this, I'm just going to outline what's already there. And... Um, They're beautiful. I know you don't want that there. Okay. Um, and this one starts start here. And then this petal here. And here, gosh, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Love it. Kind of overlapping. And then this one goes all the way up like that. And it kind of loops in there. And then we'll go around here. And here. Here.
very pretty. And I'm just gonna come up, follow this one very gently. bit of the gold in that one okay I think that's about it turned out absolutely amazing I love it definitely Green Bay Packer colors beautiful okay so I am going to put you on pause and I am going to set up the station where we're going to be doing um, the man cave picture. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, what technique, um, but I'm going to get set up and I'll see you there. Let's get painting. Hi there. Okay, I'm back. I think we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to do a ring pour. So I am going to actually layer my cup um, very thick layers. And then I think I'll just do a white ribbon over it after I do the ring. Okay. Uh, I'll put a little bit in the center just to get us going. All right, here we go. Ooh, looks good. Pretty cup. Okay, take our skewer. Okay, go ahead and torch. All right, we're just going to stretch it out right to the center, back to the center. The center. This time I tried just to put enough paint, um, not a lot of paint. Cool, looking cool. Got some lacing going on. I think I'm going to go off here. I'm going to go back to the center. off here go back to the center and again these are these the paints a lot thinner than when I do a ring for um, so I don't I just use the leftover paint from the flowers which is fine they turn out so unique bring it back now I'm going to come down I really want to save that if I can, so let's go off. Let's come back. I'm just going to keep messing with it and kind of watching the colors, making sure. Let's go back. Center. Okay, let's kind of come off this corner, I think, now. Come back. It's looking good. Okay. Come back. 
don't like that there. Let's think about this. Let's go off over here. Let's go off this corner. Let's get rid of some of this, that look I don't like. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna go off this corner down here. I'm gonna bring it down and then down here. Ooh, I love it. That looks good. Let's go ahead and fix the sides and corners and then I'm gonna do um, a ribbon. And I have not got the ribbon pours down pat. I um, watch Chris Jessic, her channel regularly. Hers are beautiful. Let me just walk around here and I think because there's so much um, green in this I think I'm gonna do a little bit different with the ring pours let's see all right I'm going to pause you and I'm gonna get a cup for my rings okay I'm gonna start with a white ring first. Make sure my cup is ready. There's a good one. Okay. I don't like it when I do those big thick rings, but it's okay. It's okay. Good one. Okay. Let's do one from here, the side. Okay, so I scraped the canvas on that end where I did not like that really big, thick ring pour. I wish I could phone a friend, figure out why I keep getting those big rings in there. Okay, I'm gonna tip it up a little bit. Okay. No biggie. We're going to fix it. Okay. good. I'm just going to tilt it really slow. And let this run off. The corner down there. Still running. Okay. I'm just doing, just kind of rocking it. I'm going to get as much of this off as I can. I just did not like that big thick ring that I did. Sometimes that happens. Yep. Sometimes that happens. Patiently just letting the canvas pull the paint, I mean, excuse me, the white paint pull the paint off these corners. Patience. 
Actually, they look pretty even. I don't know if I want to do anything with those corners. I like it the way it is. So I might, there we go. I'm just going to run a Good. Quick, quick. Ripping through these. Good. Here we go. What do you know? It looks great. Very good. Very different. liking it. I think the paint's still moving a little bit. It looks good. Okay, let's torch. I have a little bit of paint left in here. So I might go ahead and put one more ribbon on each side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the sides and put them together. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've decided to tip this white off the corners a little bit. So that's why I paused you. There's no sense in you waiting an hour. I had a little bit of paint um, on these corners and then just started tilting it. And I think that worked out good. I'm going to put another line right here. There we go. And we'll tip it up again. There we go. And get some of this to kind of mix together. I don't like, I didn't like that last line that I did. And so. I'm just adding paint to these corners and tipping it off till we get the look that we like. And I think it's it's worked. There we go. Tip it back a little bit. And down. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Love it. Okay. This line here is beautiful. Let's torch. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That's how you do a ribbon. Not crazy mad like I did before. So I just wanted to get some down here on that end. And there's another good one. I think that'll do it. Finally, something that looks nice. Love it. Very good. And there's some broken lines in there, but that's okay. Um, I think it looks pretty. Okay, we are finally done. Let me put you on pause and I'll bring it together. Hi, everybody. I hope you can see these beautiful, the flower pop and the ring ribbon that I did. The white in the ribbon is spread out, which I absolutely love it. Can you see those petals in that flower? Oh, beautiful. This definitely looks like the Packers. I absolutely love it. And I'll be sure to show you the um, dried results. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video. You'll see all of the teams that we've completed so far, and you all know what time it is. Drum roll, please. My husband has texted me, and next week we will be doing the Atlanta Falcons. Woohoo! The Falcons. That's going to be a lot of fun. Those are great colors. I cannot wait to 
start working on the color palette for the falcons. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this football day flower pop series, and I look forward to um, seeing you real soon. Take care, everybody. Till next time.